This is part three of the nominal ledger for my Sage 50 accounts tutorial. If you've joined the tutorial here, then please go back and start from the beginning. Um, it'll be more beneficial for you to do that. But welcome to this video. I appreciate you taking your time to be with me. In the last video, I showed you how to create new nominal accounts. In this video, I will show you how to edit nominal accounts. Now something I didn't mention in the previous video is if you're looking to add a bank account, I'll show you how to do that later in this course. It's better using the bank module for that rather than the nominal module. So let's say we want to edit a nominal account. Let's go to the 4000 codes, which are sales codes, and we have sales type A. It could be that we don't want our transactions booked to an account named sales type A, but perhaps general sales or just sales. So how do we edit that? Um, instead of adding a new account, we could just edit the accounts that are already on Sage. The best way to do that is by double clicking on the account you wish to edit, or you can just highlight the account and click edit at the top here. The same box appears either way. You have the code 4000 and the name of the code. I'm gonna just change that to sales for the purpose of this video. Down the bottom here, save, then close. And you'll see that 4000 has changed from sales type A to sales type B. So let's change another, let's go down to the expense codes, the 7,000 codes. Um, looking through, which would, what one would be a good uh, one to, to edit? Okay, there's one that says 7305 congestion charges. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to change that to TFL congestion charges, transport for London congestion charges. And I'll click save and close. And you can see that has been changed. So pretty straightforward. Um, just double click on account that you wish to edit, or you can just highlight it and click edit. And then you can just edit the name of the account. Pretty simple. In the next video, I will move on to the customer module and go through this module with you. I'll go through adding new credit customers, recording invoices for those customers um, and other things too. If you haven't already, please check out my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. That's a double K in bookkeeping and free as F R double E. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. And if you haven't already done so, please like my videos, please subscribe to them. I do appreciate any support that you can give me. If you go to my website, you can also make a donation on my website to help fund these videos and keep them coming. I'll speak to you in the next video.